My name is Rochelle Babler and I'm a parent of two children at Power Unified. For the record, my children are upstanding students and anything negatively impacting them or myself moving forward will be in pure retaliation for me standing here today. Please take a close look at this picture. Why are you distributing this to our children? I asked you to put this topic on the agenda today, but you refuse. And it is clear that you have no interest in addressing parental concerns, but rather are focused solely on pushing a harmful agenda without having to answer your constituents. 70 plus books have been searched in Poway Unified Libraries and many have been found to contain images and content deemed pornographic or age inappropriate and are accessible to our children. Some are now being taught in our classroom and without parents' knowledge. Carol Osborne said in an email that, quote, there are many, many books used in our classrooms for read-alouds, including at elementary. It is not feasible for us to list all books, end quote. With today's technology, Carol, instead, you should be able to do this. Instead, you continually choose to hide things from parents. Your response is agenda-driven. Arguably, Poway Unified has committed crimes, violated law, educated education codes, and community values. It is a felony sex offense to even create images of cartoons that are perceived to be children engaged in sexually explicit activity. The Communications Decency Act aims to prevent minors from gaining access to sexually explicit materials on the internet, yet children can access this in our libraries. California's decency and child protection statutes, whoever put it on the shelf, whoever unwrapped it, whoever checked it out to the child, whoever approved it, either explicitly or by looking the other way, and whoever distributed it in class may be criminally liable under federal or state law. In this picture, there's a sign on the wall that says, quote, from a recent one woman protest against some visiting Christians, end quote. So this book also tramples on religion, which violates California Education Code 51225.3. In addition, PUSD is legally inconsistent. Under dress code for handbooks, dress for success in a school handbook, it says students must dress in a ma manner that is safe and appropriate, and that is not and what is not on clothing should not contain crude, vulgar, profane, sexually suggestive words or symbols, yet children can easily access this in our libraries. A parent must sign a permission slip to allow their child to watch a PG-rated movie in class, yet children can easily access this in our libraries and parents don't know. Teachers are also mandated reporters for CPS to help protect children. Who protects children when teachers are teaching graphic content? The content POSD is exposing to our children is not only unlawful, but violates basic notions of morality. I'm asking those of you on the board who share Poway's family and community values to fire Superintendent Phelps. You have the right to do it right now. Many parents have brought this issue up repeatedly and nothing is done. If you take no action after this meeting, you have validated the perverse views found in these materials and I will seek further action. Thank you.